Are single men who confess Christianity willing to wait? Why well, am I making it more specific? Are you as a Christian man who confess Christianity willing to wait until marriage for sex? Are you honestly celibate or absent? Uh, so no, I have not Let's abstained. Uh, I'm going to be very honest about that. And I think that's a problem with Christian men, single men. We, we say the right things on stage when we get in front of the body of the Christ, but we won't be honest. Teach. So the mature part of me was to hear and say, no, I'm not, I have not been absent. Am I willing to wait? Um, absolutely. I, here's my only concern, not as a pastor, not representing change church. We got to stop saying that the right person will wait because that could be the right person and you're still having sex with the right person. It's the heart. And I agree with what she just said. If y'all are willing to step away and get it right and get before God, get before pastor, get before pastor, it doesn't matter really where you are. I think we put so much emphasis on sex, but I know virgins who are going to hell. And so for me, <laughs> I'm just going to keep it above. And so for me, everything that we said, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being honest. It's like, listen to what the pastor there just said. He didn't say harp on purity. He said, is this man a man? Is he a leader? Does he love people? And so for me, I'm not just focused on trying to abstain from sex. I'm trying to be the daggone best man God has made me to be. And, and, and being that man, I will fall. It may not be with sex, but I may fall and cut somebody out. Nice. That's being real. Yeah. So I'm trying to grow as that man. I got a Jesus. lot to say. Oh. Okay, Jeremiah, you start us off, we sir. Here's my question. <laughs> Here's my question. And, I've, I, and I'm saying this because um, my, my new church is, is mixed, it's multicultural. My former church was black. Why do we at black churches get the most charismatic person to be on panels for stuff like this? And then when it comes out, We're like shocked. you shocked, like yeah. in my mind, I'm like, y'all don't have nobody that's really like, you don't want to come to no singles mini and be like, oh yeah, he's the king, so it is what it like. So y'all mm -hmm. chose this brother because he got a following, yeah. he charismatic. Yeah. It, and and he basically up on stage saying, I'm not saying we're not perfect, but I'm just saying this is like it is what it is, and yeah. that's different than yep. God help me with the struggle. Yeah. It is what it is. Is like yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. We could do whatever. It's different. I, go ahead. Man. It's different from saying he's not committed to his covenant. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like he did he say as a pastor of Change Church? Or no, he's he saying to the pastor, not as a pastor. Not, not, not as, as a pastor. Oh, okay, okay. Saying as a regular believer. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That that's that's the part I was stuck on. I was like, whoa, 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 because um, it, the fact that he said I do not abstain, it means that he's not trying. Yeah. That's what it sounds yeah, like. I'm to not me. even in the process of yeah. abstaining. Sounds like willful okay. sin. <laughs> did y'all take it like that, or was he saying like, I just haven't. I, no, I, I've been trying, but I'm struggling. Sounds like no. it's not a big concern for me. No. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't hear to me, I wonder when he said you could be having sex with the right person is just the wrong time. Gotcha. Right. My thing is, right. well, the person that you should be with should be trying to abstain, abstain as well. well. And then not, you know, what I'm saying like. Put so I'm going to ask you this. Do y'all know anybody who y'all know has successful marriage now who who believers who did not have sex before they got married? That did not. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for real. I do. What you mean? That's that's rare. Let's say that again. I don't know many people who saved or unsaved or whatever. Oh. Like I don't know many people who did not have sex, who did not have sex with. I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's cool. It's okay, but I don't know. When I listened to him, what I wasn't, what I, I wasn't really, what I was getting was, it's a lot of folks who are not perfect out here before. I think he was probably a little nervous because he already ruffled the women up a little bit. <laughs> but I think what he was saying is a lot of people, you may not be perfect before your marriage. You may have somebody who y'all compatible on a lot mm -hmm. of levels, but y'all may be really physically attracted to one another mm -hmm. and you need to get some accountability. You need to go to your pastor. You need to put things in place. You need to go over this house this time of night to do this and do mm -hmm. that. We we have the compatibility. We're just not operating correctly. We need to try to find a way to put that on hold. And he gave an example of somebody on stage who said, yeah, we were doing this, but we got accountability, got help. We chilled out until we got married then we resumed what we were doing you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying James so, mm -hmm. it don't sound like he was saying all that no. it, <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like, like it cuss you out yeah it, it was like it I'm sound, just me it sounds like, like me I'm not what James got 
I, 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 did, I just don't see him on stage saying, excuse me, Pastor, but I'm just going to have say. I just didn't see that. I don't know. It sounds to me like he's not very concerned with it. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is something I'm a, he's like, I'm going to be honest. I don't do that. It don't sound like he's trying to yeah, do it. I don't yeah. practice it. It sounds like there, there are a lot. There's yeah. a lot of Christians who feel like it's impossible. So I think he kind of falls into that mold of I'll work on everything else about my life except that part. Yeah. I really? think a lot of people feel that way. I, I got from it. I I haven't abstained, but I can if I meet the right woman, and that's what she wants to do. That's, that's I'm wrong willing too, to. I didn't well, get well, that well that's what it's because he said I I haven't, but I but I will or I can. So if you can't control that beast, if you can't control that beast, <laughs> before no, it is that's it's passion true. is your flesh. Yeah. If you can't control that prior to y'all getting together, if she is like okay, you're leading me because you're the man, or you're leading me. But at this same time, I'm tempting you. Right. It's going to be worse. So, so, so this is why it matters, because it goes back to the last point. And this is m- maybe why he's getting signals from the women and they're sharing information because he's not willing to submit this part of his life. Yeah. This is very important. You shouldn't yeah. be saying, oh, I won't have sex before marriage as a man if that's what my future wife wants to do. You should be leading that. that. Be yeah, I mean, that should I be your stance. I don't disagree, stance. but the, it's backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, and th- and again, I go back to this. Like, following the Lord is tough. Even though He says my burden, my commands are not a burden. The the sin that we live in, you know what I'm saying? It is tough, and we live in America. Mm-hmm. You know where sex is everything. from here to the ceiling. I mean, it is in the, sh- the everything, yeah. and so Hamburg commercial, you gonna see e- sex. everything. <laughs> it's in everything. It's starting to become in children's shows. I mean, it's now your identity. Yeah. So the real question, Maya, need to be asking this year is like, do you leave with your sexual identity, or do you, you know what I'm saying, as your belief? So it's really, really hard and I wasn't a virgin before I got married mm-hmm. because all somebody t- all I was told was don't have sex before you get married and don't get pregnant well what I'm supposed to do with that mm-hmm. you know like what am I supposed to do with that as a 16 17 year old girl I th- I love him you know what I mean I we're gonna get married like mm-hmm. like you can't just Stick a bandaid on a faucet mm-hmm. and expect to not to have a problem, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. and that's the issue. So I think I agree with 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 Plain James because I don't think he's saying that it's something that he's not open to. Mm-hmm. I think that he's never been given the language outside of "don't have sex before marriage." Right. But I'll how do this. you combat that? There's forgiveness for if you have sex before marriage, but if you are currently to presently today saying that I love Jesus and I'm following Him. If a man is not willing to say, regardless of you, I am committing my body to Christ. Mm -hmm. I am not having sex before marriage. Mm -hmm. And even if you want to, the answer is no. Right. Yeah. To me, that's a red flag. That means you're you're counting on this person to lead you Mm -hmm. in for the rest of your life. That is that is the first task to see if he's able to do that not saying that people can't fail they stumble but your intention should be i'm going to serve god and i'm going to follow god now if he there are a lot of people who don't even know that's possible that's why we do this show to say it's possible we actually did not have sex before marriage yeah. mm-hmm. we were we have a successful marriage now mm-hmm. there are challenges with that there's some inexperience with that there's some yeah. weird issues that come along with that yeah. but you can work it out if you stay faithful it can work if you are aware of what I just said and you still say I'm gonna do it anyway, to me that that is that is a huge yeah. red flag. That I means you're not I don't submitted. disagree, but has he truly submitted? That's the question. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like we're 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 putting we're putting responsibilities on him, and he may not even be that deep in it. He may just be like a, a Republican right. Democrat yeah, believer. Yeah. You know? But if he is, red flag. Right. Yeah. Not, we're honestly responding to what he's saying. This is not you it. You know, we're responding to what he's saying. And like he said, as an example, um, my testimony in itself is proof that God can sustain. I'm 31. I'll be 32 in two weeks. Woo woo. I'm Happy still a virgin. Birthday. Praise oh, God. God. Can, God can sustain. Like he said, people stumble, have stumbled, but I realize you have to be submitted to God. You have to understand that the word is the word. God is not a God that he shall lie. Mm-hmm. Anything that I submit to God, he can give me better. And that yeah. is what drives you. God will sustain you. I have a brother and sister in Christ that I love dearly. They dated for five years, didn't kiss till marriage. Ooh, and there's... Uh, go ahead. My question. How long have you been walking with the Lord? 
I'm a church baby. Uh, so uh, so so now we, so now we take it to like for me. You feel me? Dang. You know what I'm saying? So it was a little bit different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you around everybody who went to church in the South, but it was folks in the church who were getting it in. So it's like, don't do this, don't do that. But like she said, we didn't have the language. We thought we were believers. We didn't really understand completely what it meant to have a relationship. So sense. then, even after I got saved and I came to the Lord, I still had a little residue still left for me because salvation, you're working it out in mm-hmm. fear and trembling daily. Yeah. So after I got yeah, yeah. saved mm-hmm. I still fail a few times not because mm-hmm. I, I was just like I'm just gonna do it it was just like it was in yeah. me you feel yeah. me yeah. so I had to work those things out so if I was on the panel at that time as a believer mm-hmm. believing that Jesus died on the cross and you asked me was I abstaining I'd be like be honest with y'all I haven't been abstaining I believe I can because I believe God is strong enough to do it but as mm-hmm. of right now I haven't been doing it and I'm, and I'm trying to get there so mm-hmm. plain if if she came to you and said hey there's a young man that's interested in me he feels the way you felt at that time what would you tell her? I was like, you might want to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm not saying that he's not a believer. I'm not saying he won't treat you right or respect you, but he does have a lot to work on because it's hard to, t- like she said, it's hard to cut the faucet off. When you're going, you know what I'm saying? Then they just like, no, and you just like. So it's like, if I've been having sex for years, if I've been smoking weed for years and doing this, yeah, I got the Holy Spirit now. I'm saved. My flesh is a whole different animal. The flesh still saying, yeah, every night around nine o'clock, we were doing such, 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 such. My flesh still want that, so I'm learning how to die to that still. And that's all I'm saying is that it's it's a it's something you should be aware of. I I implore every man that says that they're a man of God, you have to conquer if you're single, you have to conquer this part. Because this is a big sign that you are truly submitted, because this is one of the hardest Mm -hmm. things you will ever have to do in your life. Yeah. Going through this process um, was was difficult because you don't know if you're ever actually going to get married. So you you're sacrificing something that you don't know if you're ever going to get a reward for it. Yeah, yeah. and right. that means also the reward is porn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. being yeah. obedient that is the reward. And yeah. I think the thing that we really have to hit the nail on is willful sin. There's a difference between you're failing, like you said, I'm working this out with fear and trembling, and I'm making the decision. Well, I'm gonna submit every part of my life, but this mm-hmm. is willful sin. Yeah, and 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 this was this is what always happens when we bring this up because I I'm very careful not to ever sound like, you know, we're bragging about this or that because God promised He can repair what the locust has eaten. Amen. Yes, right? Sean. God will restore you back to virgin state. In His eyes, you Amen. are nothing happened to you, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. So. Everything can be restored, but I, I just, for men, I'm not even talking about women, for men, I'm begging you, get this part right, because this is signaling to the women around you how serious you are about God. Mm-hmm. If you don't have this part conquered in your life, you have to focus on it, because it takes every single effort, especially if you're young, because mm-hmm. now you're battling your own, like your body is craving it, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. You, you, have, you have to try your best to submit this part to God, because if you do, this is the prayer I pray. I say, God, this is an issue for my life. This is something I want. Make me into the man you want me to be. Yeah. Yeah, and if yeah. you really submit that, and you, God, will, he'll just... You'll look back and you'll be like, man, I don't even, I don't even want to look at porn. Mm-hmm. I don't even, w- yeah. I don't even. Des- it's still, of course, you know the desires there, but it doesn't control you anymore. Yeah. Right. That's not something that's. It's not willpower. I'm not saying yeah. hey, do yeah. it. You know, sure. it's right. ask. Beg yes. God to give that yes. to you because God, He can it change it. it to don't you. leave the it. women out. Because we live in a society today where they leading with that P. Everybody got the best P on the market. But that shouldn't be the women of God, though. That's not our standard. But cover your eye gates, your ear your ear gates, your mouth gates. You have a responsibility. Don't listen to sexually explicit music. Don't watch sexually explicit content. Unfollow them. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to sexy red. Like we also (laughs) have to make sure and understand that we play a responsibility in this as well. Mm -hmm. So walking on that purity walk is not easy that's why Paul says he beats his flesh into submission mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, he, we understand Jesus walked the walk with us being mm-hmm. fully God fully human he understands which is why I like to think that my Jesus be blushing when he look at me because I'll be trying my best even when I fall to where it's like you have everything your power everything in you is telling you to defy me but you're mm-hmm. choosing me instead I'm going to tell you about that though so when you say he beat his flesh to subjection, that means the flesh is really resistant. You know what I'm saying? So he even said also, this is a man who was snake bit, on, shipwrecked, uh, stoned, imprisoned, eventually beheaded. And this man said what when he talked about fornication? He said, flee. Paul really, really was scared of much, but he said, run from this mug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he says, it's better to marry than to burn. If you're burning, that means like, you know how it feels to burn with something? So... 
people are burning with desire. People who are nymphom, let's be real about it. People who are yeah. nymphomaniacs yeah. out here. It's people who are molested at a young age who don't really understand sexuality. Yeah. It's a lot of different dynamics that come into these things. Absolutely. Chemical imbalances. I know people who are bipolar. One of the main things they do when they get in their manic phase, they want to have sex. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm. It's a lot of different variables that come into that. So it's like Absolutely. some people may not be able just to walk that straight and narrow or straight through and they may really be fighting. Fighting look different for different people. For some yeah. people, you may be able to maintain purity 30 years and that's a blessing. Like that's something you should be proud of. But for some people coming out of some of these situations, if they can make it 5, 10, 15 days mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. that's a major that's accomplishment. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we can't really say they're not trying because of that. It's just they Absolutely. went through a set of extreme circumstances that made it extremely mm -hmm. hard to do I, that. I'll yeah. say this to that, James. Um, I just think that's why it's so good to be in the Bible believing church mm -hmm. and, uh, and and be accountable to men. And also, it's, I think it's good to also be like, talk to people about what you're dealing with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or even what your struggles are. Because for so many times, there's so many people on islands as Christians, mm -hmm. like they're alone and, and, and they're isolated on their own merit. Yeah. There's so many people that yeah. want to help women or men to become the better person that Christ called them to be. But so many of us just love our sin. Or yeah. we've been raised yeah. with happy about in this house, stay in this house. Yeah. You know Absolutely what I'm that. Yeah. Absolutely that. I think the other thing to J what James was saying, like I and speaking to women specifically, understanding our bodies, um, because I grew up in the church too. Similar, you know, story for myself. But the thing that I have consistently seen throughout a lot of my time in the church is that there's not a lot of education. There's not a lot of truthful talk yeah. about how you're actually wired, mm -hmm. how God actually created you, what your hormones do. And it's not a sin when you're ovulating and things start happening. Yeah. Ooh, you know, like so yes. learning about those types of things, um, I think yeah. is really helpful because I used to demonize my body mm -hmm. and I yeah. used to yeah. hate that part of myself. I felt yeah. that whole concept of, oh, put your beat yourself into submission. But you're also made in the image of God. He was intentional in the way that he created every element of you. Mm -hmm. So if you are experiencing an excitable moment, mm -hmm. that is not sin in and of itself. And I think that's the part of like recognizing our humanity and not hating it because Jesus was fully human and fully God. And so there's a reason why he didn't just shut down part of our humanity and say, okay, I'm just gonna hold this off yeah. till you get married, then you can access it. Yeah. Like that's a means by which to what Sean was saying, we can pray and even ask God to give you the right people to talk to and to, yeah. to discuss these things with, because it's not bad to have more knowledge and understanding and to have grace for yourself, but it's just, uh, just figuring out, okay, how do I work through this? How do I be honest about this? If it's therapy, if it's just having safe mm -hmm. people to talk through your maybe sexual trauma or whatever it is um because it's it's not all one dimensional I that, agree. That's, that's why i hold the standard to the men your your job is to lead and to cover if if you are walking the way you're supposed to walk there's there's too many women that have trusted their bodies their lives their futures to men who said they were godly and then they took yeah. advantage of them mm -hmm. so that's why i'm like it's it's your responsibility first you got to get this right because god came to adam and said what did you do mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's your responsibility so I, I i'm challenging men because i see too many men they just do not care about this at all in their lives and they yeah. they need to start paying attention yeah and i'll say this too is last thing um it also uh weeded people out you know what I mean? When I would say I'm not having sex before I get married, there I would, you know, find people that did not want to date me anymore, and that was a good thing. And Ryan meant that, it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, I that. <laughs> he meant it. Because that was a way for me to say, okay, you're not serious about your walk, so yeah. let me yeah. let me keep it moving. Um, and I think that works in reverse as well. When women find men, they say, oh, you know what? All right. So yeah. real quick, we got a super chat. Um, said, why do we as believers fall so short when the issue of sex comes up? I think I think that was it. It's, there's so much into it. It's your body, your actual hormones. The time. I mean, we're getting married way later than people in the mm -hmm. Bible did, right? Yeah. So you're dealing with with uh, this for much longer than most people did back then. So because of our culture, you're 
taught to get married in your 30s when these people were getting married late teens yeah Yeah. right so this is something that lasts a little bit longer in our culture and because it's so it's so um sensationalized yeah it's like it's normal for you not to do this it's not like it's the normal thing and then you know some people are falling astray it's weird if you find a virgin yeah. especially a dude around right? right so it's 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 so countercultural that that's why you have to you have to consider not just the people who are virgins you have to consider all the people like um um yeah. plain said that yeah. have fallen that have yeah. been raised in environments that made it okay mm-hmm. there's so many people you're talking to at the same time that you have to be considerate of everybody that's why it yeah, it takes a little bit longer to weave your way through it because you don't want to leave anybody out but and i last thing i want to say is like look at david you know david was personally appointed by god himself mm. in yes. bathsheba I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did whatever he could to get to that woman. First porn. Samson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Samson's weakness was women. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. fell because of Delilah. So, this is, as a plain James point, what Paul said, like, burning your, you know, it's, oh, it's, 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 it is hard. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. And it sounds like, Queen, you were discipled. I didn't have that blessing. You know what I'm saying? Disciple. Well, growing up in a church. Yeah, but to be completely honest with you, everything that I've come up with has been in a secret place with God. I literally got knee deep in the word and have learned everything through God himself. So I, that's why when I say like the Lord will sustain, he literally will sustain. And then also putting me, like I said, community. I was molested as a child. Mm-hmm. So I understand. So it's not just a cookie cutter. I was raised in a church, even though, you know, grandparents, deacons, prayer yeah. warriors all of that but i still was subjected to some hard things in life and i chose to submit them to god mm-hmm. and then god answered me mm-hmm. so that's why i'm just letting you guys know like i understand um sexual sin is a thing i understand spiritual warfare is a thing but the word is true and it says we have a god that overcame the world he overcame everything and even if you have all of these things going on you can still submit that to him and he will answer you Mm-hmm. And it takes time too, because some yeah, people that thing, true. some people get yeah, deliverance immediately. Yeah, right. And right. some people, the testimony is Absolutely. a is a is a is is a journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To yeah. that point, Christ healed some people when they were blind immediately. One guy, he rubbed it one time. He saw men like trees, and he reached down and he had to touch them again. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes healing is a process. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's immediate. I know a guy, my dude Five. Shout out to Five. He was on meth and crack. He was smoking meth and crack for seven years. God said, go to church. He walked into a church, immediately went down to the altar in the middle of their service, didn't know what was going on. God delivered him from meth and crack. Some folks got to go to a 12-step program. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 